Hello everyone, today is May 11th, 2022. We're gonna be showing you guys an overview of our current two containers we have here, S17s, S19s. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs or ASICs, we have S19s for sale. We have S17s, S19XPs, what's minor. Also have GPUs for sale, 3080s, 3090s. As you have know, as you may have known, the LHR has been unlocked for GPUs. So now you get the 100 mega hashes on 3080s if you are a GPU miner. Otherwise, if you want us to build something like this for you, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, and we can set something up, ASIC or GPU mining. All right, so today is May 2022, and we're gonna be showing you guys an overview. It's uh, getting close to summertime here, and we had to do some adjustments. We'll be talking about a couple of adjustments we had to do, as well as getting ready to replace the filtration system. The filtration system we replace once a year, and you can see it right there, try to focus on it. That filtration system needs to be replaced. It looks dirty up from the outside, but actually it's not that dirty when you look from the inside. The adjustments we had to do on these two containers is we had to switch around a couple of the miners. So uh, here's the uh, transformer one, transformer two, and the gears in the back over there. And the gears have their own breakers. Uh, 600 amp breakers on that one and then I think I have a couple of 600 on that one as well and a 200 at 200 So to not get it to trip at 600 when it gets warmer outside as the miners use more electricity We needed to offload miners to different uh, Breakers basically we offload panel one Maybe I take out two miners offload on panel two and we had to take miners take it from uh, container number one here and put it in container number two over there and basically had to swap around positions of miners. Not only that, but we had to swap around the actual legs. So each breaker has, it's a three phase breaker, so it's got three legs on it. And we don't want any of those legs to trip. So we had to swap around the legs. And I'll show you how it's done. It's done like this, where you see this one's not loaded. This one's not loaded. This one's not loaded. This one is. Then the rest are loaded as usual. We have S17s here, and then an S19 here, and so on. And because we had to do it like that, um, you can see it's not that pretty in there because some spots are empty, but that allows us to have each leg not be overloaded, and then as well as run maximum amount of uh, hash rate per container here. S17 plus S19, so they use different watts as well. So that's what we had to do. Now, in terms of heating or overheating, I would say we have automatic fan system installed for these containers. You see our fans here, they're not spinning because it's not hot enough yet, but they will spin up at when the uh, heat sensor detects 70 degrees. They'll, they'll spin up. Again, we'll replace the filters here. In probably a week, we'll replace them. Now let's go take a look at the S19s. So they have the same filtration. Same thing, we gotta replace it. Well, 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 we don't have to, it's fine, but we will replace it in a week. Getting ready for summertime because we'll get maximum airflow in here. Now for the S19s, you see we have some on the side here. And we have on the side, those, uh, those right there. If you're thinking what the side is on that side. It's because we had more electricity then we used, so we have a one megawatt transformer, but so much electricity that we had a bunch left over and we didn't have any more room. You see it's all filled up. So because of that, we just loaded them on the side and that works out just fine. So that's how we run them like this. This way we have, uh, we're using the whole entire megawatt on this uh, container here. So same thing with this one. Uh, it's got three fans here. Replace the filter, three fans. Doesn't have four, it's got three here. We had to do cutouts to allow more of the hot air to escape. You see the rebar on the bottom, sides. One, two, three, they also spit up at 70. So it's not 70 yet, but they will. Now, there's a new filter there at the top, so we're gonna be installing that one. 
Then for uh, plywood, you might have a question like, what's that plywood for? That plywood is to prevent the hot air from circling and going around back and getting sucked into the filter. So we don't want it to do that. So we put plywood to force the air out. So when those fans turn on, we don't want that to happen. All right. <clears throat> Um, other than that, uh, in terms of uh, the actual landscaping, this place is going to start getting you know, overgrown. You see it's starting to grow here. And it's going to be slowly spreading around the whole entire floor. So we're going to have to uh, cut the grass here, you know, kill the weeds, uh, spray the weeds, cut the grass first, and spray the, the remaining weeds and, and the grass actually. Kill everything with that uh, special spray. What's it called? The... Uh, that one that gives you like cancer. <laughs> yeah, that one. You guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah, you know, spray it. You can see a whole bunch over here as well. So, getting ready, summertime's coming up. Again, uh, once the filtration system is uh, replaced, once you get rid of the old filter, put in the new filter, that'll change the airflow dynamics inside. Then we'll also mess up the louvers, get them how we want them and then also uh, move around the miners to get them not to uh, overheat slash too much humidity, right? We don't want too much humidity and then we don't want them to be overheating. So again, once we replace the filter, right now they're fine, but once we replace the filter, that'll change the dynamics. And then at the same time, we're just going to start uh, checking all the humidity and temperatures on all the miners and then uh, shuffling them around if we need to, like move them around, uh, create more openings or close more openings, whatever that needs to be done. That way every single miner it has good humidity and good airflow. All right, well, I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe at the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU farm or an ASIC farm, this is our ASIC farm here, 1.75 megawatts, 554 miners. If you want to set something up like this, right now is also a good time to do it because the prices are down, Bitcoin's down. You can get ASICs for a cheaper price. So it's a good time to invest and build out something like this. Go to Crypto LLC, send us CryptoLLC.org, send us an email. And we'll get in touch. And until next time, bye.